Okay, guys, today's the day. Today's the day we go through the four mystery bags of jewelry that I bought at the Brimfield Flea Market last week in Massachusetts. So if you missed that video, um, I'll link it right up here. And it was a little vlog, uh, thrift with me, ride along type of thing. So I picked up these four mystery bags of jewelry from two different vendors, and we're gonna go through them today. I also have um, another little box of jewelry that we're gonna go through um, after this. So if you're interested in anything that you see in the video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. And just make sure you're giving me a timestamp along with a brief description of the items that you're interested in, just so there's no confusion on which items that you would like to purchase. Um, Timestamps only. And uh, if you have not bought from me before, just make sure you give me your PayPal email and mailing address. And I will also keep a sold list down in the comment section. So you just scroll up on this video and you'll see the comment section and it will be the first um, comment pinned down there. Also, all my information is always in the description box, so you can find that um, under the video. You have to just click the more button or something of that extent to um, open up the description box. Okay, so let's see what we got. It said that it was going to be 10 pieces of wearable jewelry, and let's see... Let's see. <laughs> All right, first piece looks like an illusion necklace. Let's try to get it. Okay, there we go. So it looks like it is marked. It looks like it's that VCLM brand or VC, yeah, VCLM. I call it Volcom, but I know that's not it. It just kind of looks like that even though it doesn't <laughs> um so this is okay this is an all right brand um that looks like it might be a little oh there it goes okay so we're fine with that so it looks like it's in good shape and the colors are pretty very beautiful for fall uh you have these pearls here they're not real. Then you have some um, like beige color faceted beads. You have these little green ones and then you have this beautiful pendant. So I think this is good. All right, so first one out of the bag is good. Let's get a little bit of a measurement. So let's see if I can straighten this out. So it does have an extender so it can go from Uh, 15 inches to 19 inches and that's pretty cool we're gonna do five dollars on that next up looks like a locket okay so this little guy does not have a chain um, I'm pretty sure I have a chain that I can put this on um, so if you want it as is, that's fine. I'll do um, $3, but if you want me to put a chain on it, just put that in the email to me and it will be um, $5. Okay, so this is a green plastic um, beaded necklace with gold beads in between. You have the little hidden clasp with nothing written on it. Always check that for 14K or any other type of precious metal. Make sure we're focused. So this is actually in really good shape. It's a pretty Kelly green. And let's get a measurement on it. It is 16 and a half inches and I will do $5. Okay, this, oh, this is Trafari. Okay. Look at that. There is a little knot in the chain, but that's okay. We have the gold 
um, satellite beads. Oh, it's broken. See, she said this was all wearable. Tisk tisk. It's missing the clasp. Oh, I thought that said broken. I was going to be like, really? And she crossed it out. All right. Well, that's a bummer because this is in really good condition. I might have... Let me see. I might have lobster class. I do not. So this will have to be sold as is, but it's a quick fix to just add a lobster clasp and a jump ring on there. Um, so I'll just do $3. I mean, it's in like perfect condition. So hopefully somebody can rescue that. And that really makes me mad that it is not wearable. Okay, so this is a little stretch bracelet. It has um, the blue cat eye beads and some silver tone. So we'll do $2 on that. This looks like a little um, shell and seed bead necklace. Another great necklace for the fall with a screw barrel clasp. Let's get a measurement on this one. It is 20 inches total length and I'll do $5. All right, this one is a uh, faux pearl twisted necklace with a fish hook clasp. It looks to be in really good shape. It is an eight and a half inch drop and we'll do $5. Okay, this does not look like it's in wearable condition. It is super worn right here on all these beads. And I mean, that has some gunk on it. That's not looking too good. This isn't looking too good. So yeah, I'm not thrilled with this one. So this is going to be a craft piece. So if anyone would want to, you know, upcycle it or take it apart, um, it'll just be a dollar. All right, it looks like we have two pairs of earrings here. We have a pair of vintage clip-ons. These have kind of like a brass backing. They don't look in terrible condition. It's a really pretty, like, um, like almost iridescent. It's kind of got that pearlescent look to it. A very pretty bright green. Um, so they're not they're not terrible. I'll do three dollars on these. And then these, um, hmm. they do have a little bit of wear, but they're not terrible. And all the stones are here. So I'll do $2 on those. And then last, we have a green uh, faux pearl and these little spacers, they look like they're metal, stretch bracelet, we'll do $2. All right, so let's see. There were supposed to be 10, so one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, eleven. Okay. So there's eleven. So I guess maybe because of this one, <laughs> she might have wanted to make up for it. So okay, not in you know, not a terrible bag. Let's slide all you guys over and do the other one. Okay. La la la, remember to check the sold list down in the comments section before emailing. 
and let's see what this one brings. These are actually really cool bags. I'm definitely going to be reusing them. All right, I think that's everything. Slide everybody over. And let's see what we got. So first thing is this little gold tone uh, pendant with the cutout heart. It has a chain. I don't necessarily think it matches. Um, it has an extender. Without it, it's a nine inch drop and I'll just do $2. I wish it was going to be gold. It's actually really cute. So it's a boat. It's just um, maybe an acrylic. Nope, maybe it's like a ceramic piece. With a gold tone chain. It definitely seems like a little bit of a shorter chain. Yeah, it's only a seven and a half inch drop, which isn't too short, but we will do $5 on that. This one is another one of those um, illusion necklaces with the wires. Um, the pendant is in really good shape but there's some bending to the wire, which is usually gonna be pretty hard to get that kink out. Um, so I'll just do $2 on this one. Maybe someone can fix it or use the pendant in another necklace. Oops. Next we have this bracelet with no ends so that's broken it's like she has to include one broken piece so there's no clasp on this at all um, I do think that they're glass so I'll just do two dollars so in this one we have two so I guess she puts two pairs of earrings together we have the cute hoops with the um, metal shapes. We'll do $2 on those. Then we have some little holiday bells. These might get annoying in your ears after a while. And it looks like there may be missing a few bells from this one. So I'll just do those for a dollar. This looks all right. This is gold tone. It's a rope chain. It's got a little bit of scratching, but not too bad. It's, it's all right. It's all right. There's a little bit of uh, wear on the chain. It's a seven and a half inch drop without using the uh, extender. And I'll just do $3 on that. All right, let's see what this is. This looks like a bracelet. It has a fold over clasp. It's by Crown Trafari. And there is some wear to it, okay? So the whole back, you can see on the edges, you can see the silver tone coming through. And on the front, I don't know. I think the front is okay because it looks like it's gold tone and silver tone. So I do think that this one is pretty nice. It is a seven and a quarter inch length. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do six dollars on it since there is some wear, but I think it's still really pretty. 
And then you just make sure it closes properly. Yep. All right, so $6 on that. These are definitely a stone. Ooh, this is lapis. Yes, yes, yes. Lapis, hand knotted in between. It is very cold. It does not have a um, clasp. So this is pretty nice. The drop measurement is 15 inches. And we're gonna do um, we're gonna do ten dollars on that. I can probably get way more, but we'll give you guys a good deal. Next up we have some seed beads. So this is, okay, this is a Leah Sophia. It's in very nice condition. You have the seed beads, the blue and the clear, coming down to a green, like enamel swirl with the clear rhinestone. You can definitely take this off and maybe put it on something else or maybe put something else on this necklace, but it is in a very good condition. Without the extender, it's a seven and a half inch drop, and we're gonna do um, five dollars. That's cute. All right, and then last but not least, we have a rice pearl necklace with a fish hook clasp. Always check the fish hook for any markings. Okay, and then you just pop it in like this and push it in. So this is very pretty. It's in excellent condition. You got the um, black and gold spacer beads. Beautiful and dainty. And it's a nine and a quarter inch drop. And I'll do $5. Okay, so that one had one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, and then two was in here, nine, ten. So they definitely, she definitely shorted me because that one bracelet was broken and I can't do anything with it. Okay, that's fine though. It was an experience. It was very fun. I always love doing mystery, um, opening mystery things with you guys because you just never know what you're gonna get. And I'm actually surprised that there weren't more vendors with mystery bags. Okay, so let's go into these mystery bags. So I got two bags of brooches or pins, and let's see what we got. So I'm going to leave it in the bag so it's just not, you know, all over the place. I'm going to move these guys up. All right, so I did see a couple things in these bags that made me choose these over the other ones that he had. So, see, I'm going to want to take it off the card because I'm going to want to see the backs. So, let's do that. Remember, guys, to email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is down in the description box, and I will have a sold list down in the comment section. Please check that before you email. All right, so this guy is really cool. He's definitely got some age to him. Let me put you back in there. And I mean, it's in great condition. Usually the enamel is is like picked off and stuff. Um, so we're gonna do we're gonna do six dollars on this one. All right, then I have three of these. So let's just, uh, see if I can fit. there we go, that's a faster way. Because you never want to pull the pin off the card because you'll bend the pin. Geez, this paper is so thick. Okay, so we have three of these. 
This has a hair on it, which we don't want that. Thank you. Okay. The, and they are all in excellent condition. This one has a little bit of missing enamel on the back. So we'll put him up here. And these two are pretty perfect. So I'm gonna do um, $6, $6 on these and five on the one with a little bit of the missing enamel, okay? So five on this guy and six each on these. I'm glad he put most of them in individual bags so they're not clanking on each other and getting them all messed up. This does not have any markings. It has a little bit of green up here. We'll see if I can get that off, but no promises. Um, okay, so we're going to do um, $4 on this brooch. This is like a uh, gold leaf. There's a little bit of something up here. I'll do $3. And this one seems to be in good shape as well. I'll do five, that's really pretty. Gold tone heart. We have this guy, he's not marked. He's all right, he's got a couple little things going on under here. I'll do four. This guy definitely needs some cleaning. No maker marks, I'll just do $2. This one's pretty beautiful for the fall. Excellent condition. We're gonna do $6. Come on. This little gold tone one, we'll do $3. Ooh, that's empty. That's empty. Hopefully they're just loose in the bottom. Oh no! So this one, the little um, branch fell off. I mean, it doesn't really look like it's missing anything. Um, but I'll do five on it. Hmm, this is interesting. I wonder if this could be sterling. Maybe like a raw piece that someone was trying to, uh, you know, make, hand make. And this might be a like a natural stone. So I turned on pressy. So let's leave that to the side for now. This guy has got a little bit of cleaning that needs to be done. So we'll just do $3. This one has a little mark there. We'll do $4. Okay, let's see if this is anything. So it's just glass. Actually, it might be nephrite because it's almost, yeah, look at that. I would say that that's nephrite. It's the second from the bottom line. Okay, so let's do a quick sterling test. Sterling, sterling, let's see if you're sterling. Cause that would be a nice find. Look at that, it is. Ha, knew it. All right, so that's really cool. So we have a sterling and nephrite ring, I mean brooch. So um, that's it's very brutalist, very cool. 
and I'm gonna do uh, ten dollars. That's really cool. This is a little flower, very cool flower. Um, was that missing something? I don't know. I don't think so. No maker marks. We'll do five dollars. This is a little uh, heart rhinestone in gold tone. See, a lot of these tend to be gold. Nope, not this one. Um, $5. This one's really pretty. This one does not have a maker. It is missing a lot of the gold tone up here, so I'll just do a dollar. Here's another one like the other one that I just showed, so make sure you're giving timestamps, timestamps only. And I think I said four on this one, on, on the other one. And then we have this one that needs a bit of a cleaning with the faux pearl. I'll do three. This one has a very um, chipped up faux pearl. So we'll just do a dollar on this one. We have this smaller guy with the pearl. This one seems all right. We'll do four on that. This one with the faux pearl gold tone, $4. And then this guy, he's got a little bit of wear to him, so we'll just do $2. And then this one is the last one. I don't know if that's supposed to be there. I guess so because it's pretty uniform. Definitely got some age, no maker marks. It's in all right condition. It definitely needs a cleaning. We'll do five. All right, so that's the first bag. So let's put all these back in here. Okay, and then the next bag, dun dun dun. Oh, it says pins also. So this has a little bit of green gook right there, but this is quite cool, very different. A um, little bit of a mark right there. So I'll do $3. This one has a price tag of four, what does that say? Crest? Okay, we'll do $4. I probably won't keep these prices for everything, but we'll go with the flow on that one, $4. This is a bar brooch. It has all these beautiful rhinestones and an open pin. <laughs> okay, that's all set. So that's, that's in good shape, we'll do $5. Oh wow, look at this one. I love it, you guys. Wow. I didn't even see this through the bag. This was in the middle. Wow, this is beautiful and it's in excellent condition. I love that, that's so pretty. No marks. All right, we're gonna do 12 on this one. This one is really, 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 really nice. Wow. Okay, 12 on that. 
We have a mask, masquerade mask. It's got a little bit of wear, but I still think it looks cool. I'll do five on it. Um, this one, gold tone with some rhinestones and the um, red center. I'll do four. This one has a couple that are a little bit discolored, but it's gold tone, very beautiful. I'll do four on that one too. Look at this little teeny one. Holy moly, she's tiny. Look at that little guy. So I will do a dollar on this one, silver tone leaf. Ooh, look at this one. So this one I'm also gonna test. So let's bring back out Pressy. This is silver tone. I turned her off, I didn't want her to overheat. So let's just put that to the side for now. Let's clean up this, because it's getting a little out of hand. Okay, so let's check this out. Yep, so it might be, um, yep, it's definitely nephrite again. So very cool. I'll leave her on for a little bit. So this is Nephrite Silver Tone. Let's do um, $6. This one is Gold Tone. Um, there's definitely some discoloration with the glue holding the faux pearls. So I'll just do $2 on that. I think this one has a lot more in here. We have a CR engraved brooch. I'll just do a dollar because I'm not really sure if anybody's going to have that exact initial. <laughs> we have this little bird, but he's missing some gold tone on his head. So I'll just do a dollar. Sagittarius, all right, all right. This is really pretty, gold tone with the blue enamel. Almost like a cloisonne. I'll do $5. We have this one, this looks old. Yep, you have the C clasp. I wonder if this could be silver and gold, like Precious metals. Let's check the stone in the center. Nope, I don't even think it's glass. See, but it's not magnetic. I don't really know if they would put Precious metal with acryl an acrylic stone. Yeah, no, it's not. It is not, um, what you call it, sterling. All right, but even still, it's very cute and it's very old. So I'm gonna do six on this one and it's in really good shape. This is some type of very lightweight material. It looks like it's leather, but then it was coated. So I'm not really sure, but it's pretty cool. It's four leaf clover and I'm gonna do $5. This is pretty cool, like a little um, metal and enamel brooch. We'll do four bucks. Gold tone little brooch. We'll do four dollars. Let me just get these out of here. Okay. 
We have this one, look at that. How cool is that? It definitely looks like somebody repainted this themselves because it doesn't, doesn't quite go. But you never know, I'll do five bucks. This one is unmarked, a little bit of discoloration with the glue. So I'll just do $2. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This one is gold tone with green rhinestones. This one's really nice. Um, I'm gonna do six on it. Oh, wow. We have 15 on this one. Oh, it's signed. Let's see what it says. Handmade Sterling Lang. So this is a Lang Sterling brooch. Wow, that's really pretty. Now I understand why he was asking 15. <laughs> that's really cool though, to like throw in like a really nice piece. So let's just test it. Yep, so it is turning blue. Let me just get something. Okay, so that is definitely Sterling. It's Lang. Um, I will do $10. This says Ray, R-A-E. And it does say something on the back. What does that say? It says Liberty Silver. All right, so it's pro it probably is Sterling. So I'll just do um, $5. Not really sure if anyone's name is Ray. This one is a little gold tone clover. It is missing a stone right here. So this will be a dollar. Ooh, this one is really pretty. You can wear it like that or like that. I think it'd be cool like that. It looks like a crown. That's really cool. No maker marks. That's really cool. I like that one. We'll do $5. This little guy, he's pretty. We'll do four. This is one that I saw from peeking out of the bag. This one's really cool. Oh, I like it. Abalone and gold tone. It's more like a brass tone butterfly. Five dollars. That's pretty interesting. It's enamel. An enamel heart. You can put a jump ring on it, wear it as a pendant. $4. We have a Christmas tree brooch with a bow. Ooh, this is Mylu, M Y L U. I've never heard of that. All the rhinestones are there. You got the little dingle bell down here. <laughs> Let's do $7. That one's really pretty. Ooh, look at this one. This is an oldie. So that is, that might be Mother of Pearl Shell. Super old, look at that. Really pretty, $5. <clears throat> this one has a pearl, super pretty. $4. Pretty rose. It's kind of got like 
all different color metal. <laughs> $4. This one's pretty. This is very Art Deco. I don't think it is. I think it's just the style. So we'll do $5. Ooh, that's pretty. Very pretty. We'll do five. Here is a ship. No maker marks. Five dollars. Oh, this is one that I saw peeking out of the bag too. We have a Italian mini mosaic. It is marked Italy. Beautiful, you guys, beautiful. <clears throat> I don't see any missing stones, missing tiles. So we're gonna do 12 on this one. That's beautiful. And then look at this last piece in here. Tell me that doesn't look like sterling silver. What? 25 bucks? What? This is cool. <gasps> I did not see this through the bag. How do you open it? Oh, okay. It just has a little, little lip right there. Wow. This is cool. All right, this I think I have to bring to auction. Are there any marks on it? I don't see any. All right, let's get all this out of the way. So these bags were awesome. If I would have known that it had, I mean, I didn't, I looked through them. I didn't look through them, but I kind of looked at them a little bit, but there was another lady that was looking at them too. So I wanted to like hurry up and pick you know, before she snagged them all. So I just grabbed two of them, but this is cool. Let's check it. Let's check it for sterling because it definitely looks like it is. I just popped this out on accident. That is cool. Yes. Bright blue, it is sterling. What a cool, cool piece. Okay, so this is definitely, I'm going to bring it to auction so everyone has a fair chance at it. But you see the guy in the middle? The little guy? He's like in a garden. Here's his little pagoda thing. That's what it's called, right? With all the flowers. Wow, you guys. This is gorgeous. I almost want to keep this for my own collection. All right, I'll bring this to auction. I think I'll be having an auction um, probably the last week of September, I'll be doing another solo auction. It's not, um, scheduled yet, but just keep, stay tuned. So that one we're going to hang on to. All right. And now we're going to go over the jewelry that I got from a lovely subscriber. And it's going to be hard to go through all this because I have so much on the table already. So let me see if I can find somewhere else to put this jewelry when I'm done looking through it. Okay, I got it. All right, so remember, guys, to email me with a timestamp, anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. And make sure you check the sold list down in the comments section before you email me. This is really cool. This is, um, it's almost like a basket weave bead. Look at that. So you got the clasp and you can definitely use the other loops to hook it on. It's a 10 inch drop to the first layer. So I'm going to do um, $8 on this. It's very pretty. And then you have the earrings. Okay, look how pretty. And the earrings, I will do five. Ooh, 
we have a little um, set here. So for the set of two earrings, I will do $5. And for the necklace, it has an extender. It's sitting at an eight and a half inch drop. I will do um, five on that. Okay, this, I did test a lot of the stuff. This is Sterling. Hold on. Yeah, this is Sterling and watch what the stones are. So it's a sapphire. And I couldn't get in here to test these other ones because they're so small. I think they are also sapphires. Or they might be clear topaz. So I'm either it's definitely blue sapphire and maybe clear topaz. And it is sterling silver. I did test it. And it is marked on the inside. A 925. And the other side says something. P and M, it looks like. So, and I did get a new mandrel so you guys can see the numbers better. It is a size seven and a quarter. And I'm going to do, I'm gonna do 35 on this one. It's in really nice condition. Sapphire, blue sapphire, and I think clear topaz. $35, size seven and a quarter. We have these little faux pearl earrings. We'll do $3. We have a um, Millefiori glass pendant necklace. Um, the drop on this one is 10 inches. There's, uh, there is a clasp. It's a little knot. So I'll do $6 on that. Put this all back over here. All right, now we have a bunch of other rings. Um, these earrings I wanted to test because I did not test them and they are marked. Let me show you. CN, so that's usually China. Yeah. So let's test these. These could be a Vermeil. I can't, yep, they are. Alrighty, good, good. Let me get something to clean that with. Okay, so these are Vermeil. And just a glass rhinestone. It's almost like a rose gold color and I'll put backs on them there's missing one back um, they won't be sterling backs though um, so these I'll do for eight dollars let's see okay these are glass and it is adjustable silver tone ring 
Nice, pretty cocktail ring. It is adjustable, so I will do $6 on that. This is a just an um, adjustable, stretchy, blinged out heart. I'll do $4. No, I'm putting them in the wrong spot. This is opal and glass, but it, I think it's man-made because the ring itself has no markings and it's magnetic, so it's not a precious metal, but it's very pretty. Actually, it might be opalite because I don't really see any flakes in it. And this one is a seven. So I'm going to do um, $10 on that. We have this really pretty rhinestone uh, like leaf wrapped ring. It is in good condition, just silver tone. It's a seven, I would stick with seven and a half. And I will do $5. Okay, this one and this one went together, but I don't know if they actually go together. They were in the same box. Oh yeah. They're just glass, but they're silver tone because um, they are peeling a little bit. I think it says NRT, which is a an Avon brand. This one has a lot more wear. It is a size eight and a quarter. And this one is an eight. So I'll do them separately. The eight and a quarter has a lot of wear on it, like a lot. So I'll just do $3. And this one is the size eight. I'll do $5. Then we have this one, which says something on the inside that I can't read. <laughs> It looks like it might say 925, but if it is, it is rhodium plated because it's magnetic. And just glass. It's a size seven. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do $6 on this one, that's pretty. That's a pretty one. Now this one I know is sterling. I did test it already. And they are glass rhinestones or maybe even a CZ. Just a band like I have for, I just wear my wedding band. And it is marked 925 in there. And this one is a size eight and a quarter. And I will do $12. Alrighty, what's next? We have a nice big red bangle with the white hearts. It is a an eight inch um, circumference. We'll do five dollars. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought this was super cute. It is a cat brooch, and he is holding the cheese above the mouse. So I'm gonna do, oops, I'm gonna do $6 on that. We have a bow bracelet, faux leather, very cute. It can go from a seven to an eight. Nice condition, I will do $5. 
We have this stretch bracelet with these really, really pretty blue stones with some clear, $5. We have this mother of pearl bracelet. It's got a lobster clasp, <clears throat> seven inch length, $5. <clears throat> This is pretty. This is a pin and a pendant. Super pretty. I love all the colors on a really nice twisted gold tone. Super long chain. It measures a 17 inch drop. And I'm going to do six on that. That's really pretty. We have this. Um, kind of like crystal orb in there with some rhinestones around it. There's a little bit of wear to the back. It's on a long silver tone chain with an extender. 16 inch drop, $5. Perfect for Halloween coming up. We have a bat necklace. And it kind of hangs down like that. It has a little another uh, layer there. So it's a black metal chain with some red and then the bat, super cool. It's a nine inch drop and I'll do $5. Love, all blinged out. Gold tone chain with an extender. Eight inch drop without the extender. Really nice condition, $5. Okay, so I have this little um, pendant. It is a frog with some rhinestones. So we'll do $5 on him. And then we have this M um, pendant and it is marked 925. but it's magnetic, so it might have a coating on it. Yeah, it's not, I can't even get a, a scratch. Let me just see. Yeah, I can't even. So we're just gonna say that it might be rhodium plated, which will help, which helps with the tarnish. So I will do, let me check the stones. Looks like they're glass or maybe a CZ. Um, I'll do $8. Looky, looky. Got some brand new Michael Kors. I think these were, I wanna say that they're stainless steel. They're not marked anywhere. Oh yeah, wait, nope. They're marked Michael Kors on the post. But that's about it. CZ. It's an $85 retail. So this will make a nice gift. And I'm going to do these for um, $18. Okay, and then we have another pair of Michael Kors earrings. These are clip-ons and they are gold tone. And these are stainless steel. They say S steel on them. $75, and I will do these for $16, $16 on those. All right, let's see what else we got. We're coming up to an hour, so I want to keep it moving. So we have these earrings and bracelet set. So I'll do $5 for the set. 
I have a lot of earrings in here. So we have these hoops. They're just one-sided. Um, we'll do, oh wait, it's missing one. Okay, so these will be a dollar. These are cool because it has the um, rhinestones in the back here. So it looks like, you know, no matter which way you turn, you're gonna see rhinestones. There are a few that are discolored, but overall, it's a really beautiful set, a really beautiful pair of earrings. We'll do um, $4 on those. These have a little bit of wear to them. They are marked Brass JCM Thailand. With all these beautiful purple rhinestones. Um, I'll do, oh man, there's no missing one. Right back there. I'll do um, $2 on those. These are triple, $4. These have the gold with the um, glitter in the center, $5. Um, these have a little bit of wear on them. We're going to skip those. We'll just do those for a dollar. These have, this one fell off. This, these have a little dangle with an M. So they're little hoops with an M from BCBG. So we will do um, five on those. And then we have a silver tone pair with um, silver glitter. And we will do, I'll put backs on these, uh, $4 on those. All right, moving right along, moving right along. We have this, boom, shakalaka, woo. It is a <laughs> rose gold tone, super blinged out. Look at that, woo. Um, really nice condition, little should say big wide bracelet it's actually a nine inch so you can probably even wear this as an anklet some of you so nine inch or just a larger bracelet um you go like so so this will be five dollars we have a little set here of bangles Super pretty, black with um, black stones and a green stone one. And they are an eight inch circumference. For the set, I will do $6. They're in very, very nice condition. All right, then we got, I didn't take these out of the package because I didn't want to ruin them. Um, so these are, pff, what the heck? <laughs> that was funny. A little sticker. Uh, these are just like a peacock feather earrings. These will be $4. We have a set here. This is gold tone. Look at that. How pretty. It has the earrings to match. Okay, super pretty. Um, it does have an extender. It has a drop of seven and a half inches without the extender. So I'm gonna do $6 on the set. These are really pretty too, look at that. Gorgeous, look at that red. This would make for a good part of a costume for Halloween if you wanna be like a vampire or something like that, like a goth, maybe like a Victorian girl or something. This is These are very pretty. Um, they're lightweight, excellent condition, $5. So, so pretty.
Let me just get the rest of it out here. Okay, so we have this cute little purse. It is very tiny, like a little coin purse. Brand new. Okay, so we'll do um, $6 on that. This is a wood bead necklace with a clasp. Sorry, it's kind of hard to show the super long necklaces. So this one is a measurement, a drop measurement of 16 inches to the first layer. But with this type of chain, you can use any of these hooks, any of these links to make it shorter. So I'll do $5. We have a couple pairs of earrings in here. So we have these that I think are really, really pretty. We're gonna do five on those. These, gold tone with the rhinestones. We're gonna do four. These are super cool too. These have the silver and the gold with the rhinestone, $5. These are super pretty, $4. And this I saved for last. Hope you guys are ready. I'm just kidding, no, it's not anything that special. They're pretty, they are pretty, they are. Oh, where's the ring? I had a ring that was in a box too. I'll have to find it. I'll have to put you guys on pause and, and go get it. But um, I have another thing in a box too, a thing in a box. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't, I did not test these, but I do not think that they're sterling. There's no markings and they are magnetic. Of course, I just turned off Pressy. Um, let me look under the loop on the post, but I do not remember seeing any markings on these. No. But they look like they've never been worn. They are a really pretty like size, like a really great size. I'm pretty sure they're CZ because they go up higher, a little bit higher on the glass line and that's usually what a CZ will be. So um, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do 15 on these. All right, let me go find that other Okay, I got box. it. Victoria Reich, Beverly Hills. I showed this to my sister. She called me when I was um, opening all this stuff and um, uh, she's like, oh my gosh, you should keep it. You know, have it like it as an upgraded wedding set, <laughs> but I'm not going to, it's, it's too big for me, but it is beautiful. So I'll, I will try it on so you can kind of get the look, but it's very, it's big for me. Look at that. Gorgeous. See the center, how it has the circle? And it's like cut a different way in the center. You can't really tell on camera, but when you look at it in person, it almost looks like a hologram. It's so beautiful. It is sterling silver, I did test it. And these are all cubic zirconia. And this is a honker ring. I mean, look at this. It is so gorgeous. All right, so the size is an eight, eight and a quarter. Okay. Eight and a quarter, sterling silver. And the band is also eight and a quarter. And 
and I'll show you the markings. 925. What does that other one say? I don't know what that is. It's like a symbol. It's probably her logo or something. All right, so um, online, this brand goes for, it, it. they go all over the place. Like it's, I've, <laughs> The, the pricing goes from $20 to $200. So I am going to sell this as a set. If someone would like to just use this, you know, when they go on vacation in, so they don't, you know, lose their real set, like their diamonds or something. Um, or if you want to upgrade, this is a beautiful upgrade. Um, I'm going to do this set for... $75. Okay, it's absolutely stunning. It comes with the box, the little um, information card. Okay, so $75 on that size eight and a quarter. All right, guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, you guys are the best. Make sure you check the sold list down in the comments section. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe right down here. It's free. Click the bell to all so you're notified every time I make a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.